Hello guys, how are we doing? Welcome back to the Free Hours. It's the last review of the season. My God, how good does that feel? Honestly, I'm a bit emotional, honestly. I'm going to be honest with you. That was amazing, honestly. Um, you know, we started not too brilliantly in that first few minutes, first sort of 20, 30 minutes. But in the end, you know, we've shown what we've been about as a team this season. Um, listen, before I get into the match, I've just got to say, what a season. Honest to God, you know. We've finished six now. We're guaranteed Europa League. We're in, you know, straight into the group stage, which, you know, just doing a little bit of flash scores before I film this video. You know, we could be playing teams like Juventus, Lazio, Frankfurt, um, Marseille, Lyon. There's some great teams in there, you know, that we could be up against. We, it's just brilliant, you know, that we're finally, you know, we're guaranteed six games in there. It's just brilliant. Honestly, like, at the start of the season, my prediction was 13th, 14th. After two games, you looked at West Ham and it was like, this is going to be a tough old season this year. But my God, you know, the difference and full credit to David Moyes. Do you know what I mean? What a man. I put a tweet out, you know, the guy deserves it now. And I'll, and I'll sing it right here for him now, you know. David Moyes is can't blow me. David Moyes can't blow me. He deserves it, you know. That guy has been magnificent honestly I, I haven't got more words to say about him we're going to do like a season review at some point next week um where we'll go for it a bit deeper you know but you know <laughs> just just one little negative just one little thing to say two points away from the top four one win would have done it one win but no let's scrap that let's not make it a negative video but just in hindsight you know one win one win would have done it um obviously the games you know Changes to the lineup. Fabianski come back in. Uh, Bowen come in for Ben Rama. Uh, we're playing some nice stuff. You know, the first goal came through Fonels. Uh, lovely. You know, great to see him score. Um, you know, decent goal as well to put us one nil up. Um, second come. You know, not much later after that. Um, again, another decent goal for him. Um, you know, he had skied a couple before that, but what what brilliant, you know, brilliant to be 2 new up. It's just a shame that no one's gone on and got that bloody hat-trick. It would have been nice to have got a couple of hat-tricks. We've been close a couple of times the last sort of few weeks. Um, you know, at 2 new, I, I, I had no fear, really. I, I just I didn't think we were going to concede three goals. You know, we only needed to draw today to be guaranteed it. And, you know, I didn't think, you know, Southampton had three goals in them. Um, you know, they didn't really do that much either. There wasn't, you know, Minamino at the side post. Uh, but nothing really, really threatening. Um, and Rice, what, what a goal from Rice. You know, picks it up, drives into the box and, and, you know, slots it into the bottom corner. You know, we need to see more of that. You know, he's got it in him. You know, go and do that more, Dex. Um, you know, next season, hopefully. I think he will be at West Ham next year. You know, there's a few smidgy little rumours today about uh, Chelsea and Man United sniffing around. Listen, if, if they sell him, there'll be absolute riots, you know. Uh, we've got European football now, so, you know, there's no reason for you to go this year anyway, at least. You know, you you know, give us give us that year now to see what we can do in the Europa League. Um, I can't remember much about the game, guys. I'm, I'm just in, like, this real buzzy mood, you know, this real happy mood about the season we've just seen and witnessed. Um, you know, 19 wins. 19 wins. That's incredible. Half a season of wins. Um, it's just incredible, you know. Smashed that points total as well. Um, 10 goals for Antonio. 10 goals for Solchek. Uh, Lingard was really good today. I thought Fornals obviously got them out of the match. Um, Defence looked really solid at all times. You know, Fabianski always does what he's got to do. It was just just a great professional performance today and just a brilliant way, you know, to end the season. It's just, I can't keep, I can't stop smiling, you know. it's I think it's fantastic that Tottenham are in the Europa League conference. I didn't want them to slip out of it. I think it's funny. I think it's funny that they're in it. You know, I, I, at times, at one point, obviously, Leicester were winning because I wanted Leicester to get top four because I didn't want Chelsea to get it. You know, but the fact that they've dropped into that uh, Europa League conference is quite funny. You know, because there was such a, you know, there was all giving it to us like Jamie O'Reilly, oh, like, oh, he wants to be in that Mickey Mouse. West Ham uh, so buzzing if they get in that. We're not in that. We're in the Europa League. We finished in the top six, you know. This year we broke that ceiling of that top Sky Sports top six, you know, an amazing achievement. Um, yeah, it, it's just amazing. Honestly, it's just what 
what a season. What what an incredible season we have witnessed um, this season. Just, you know, so many players, you know, that are heroes and, you know, put on, you know, eight out of ten performances at least every week. Soufal, Sochex, Rice, Ogbonna when he was fit. Um, Cresswell, one of the best seasons he's had for a long, long time. You know, this is the one of the best Cresswells we've seen. Um, actually scoring from set pieces. Um, Lingard, excellent when he come in. Antonio, when he has been fit, has been immense. Um, Bowen chipping in with goals. Fornells chipping in with goals. Um, it's just been fantastic. It's, it's a shame it's ended though now, you know, um, you know, because you're only as good as your last season. Um, but we, we've got something to look forward to now. And David Moyes, hopefully, you know, there are some strong rumours that he's going to sign a three-year contract with a club. Um, hopefully, on the promise that he's being backed, you know, we're not going to sell Rice. We're going to try really hard to go and get Lingard. We're going to get you the striker you want. You know, go and back this man now. You know, if you want to pull back any credibility, um, that's GSB, I'm saying, you know, you've got a chance now. Listen, we're always going to, you know, have our views against them. And I, I will always, you know, want them out of the club. But if they want to leave any sort of credibility before they sell it, you know, go and back him now and leave this team in a good position. And, you know, we could, you know, we could really go and achieve something. You know, and Moyes could leave us in such a good position in three years' time when one that, when, you know, a new manager will be there to take over. It's exciting, it gives us a bit of hope, it gives us a bit of belief again. Um, I fell in love with West Ham again, you know, for a long time since we've been in that London Stadium. It felt like we had no identity, felt like, you know, we'd lost our way a little bit. But, you know, now you, you can see a team that, you know, to be proud of. You've got a team to be proud of, you've got a bit of identity. Um, it's, it's just great. I just hope, you know, like I say, that we, we go hard in the summer. Um, and get the players in we need to really, you know, carry on and do, do the same sort of thing again. I'm not saying finish in the top six again, but, you know, have a good top half finish again and really, really push on. Um, anyway, guys, I've got to leave it now. I do apologise. It's not really a review of the game. You know, I didn't talk about the game much. It's more about just how I feel about the season now, buzzing I am. We've got European football next year. It's such a great thing. Five years this channel, you know, been waiting to say it properly. You know, we've had, we've had, you know, the qualifiers with Astro twice, and but this time we actually going to have six games that we get to enjoy in the Europa League. Until next time, guys, come in your minds. Hit that subscribe button if you have already. Hit the like button. Let's go.